Hello, and welcome to this quick tutorial on the certification process. We will also cover contact and address changes within this training. Every year, the California Arts Council asks registered organizations to certify their main organization information is still correct and up to date. This is the time to update new contacts, mission statements, addresses, and more. We are currently looking at the main login page for the grants management system, sometimes referred to as Smart Simple. Only the primary contact for your organization can recertify your organization's profile. So make sure that person is the person who signs in. If the previous primary contact is no longer with your organization and you have access to their login credentials, you can log in using their credentials to recertify your organization but it is crucial you submit a contact change request to update the primary contact to a current individual in your organization as soon as possible. More steps on how to update a primary contact will be covered later in the training. I'm going to log in as a primary contact for a test application and organization. This is the main dashboard for most users. You will first need to click on the organizational profile tab in the left corner. You'll notice that the profile itself tells you that the organization requires certification. You'll then click the orange edit button in the left corner. Note, if you do not see the orange edit button, you are not signed in as the primary contact and will not be able to certify the organization until you are logged in as the primary contact. Once you're logged in as the primary contact, click the edit button. You will now be able to see the different fields that you're allowed to edit for each tab. Be sure to review each tab and update anything that is out of date. Remember that updates like address changes need to be made through the change request tab since it requires staff assistance. Note that you can recertify your organization even if you have an address change in the change tab. You do not have to wait for an address change to be complete to finish the certification process or start applications. When you're ready to recertify your organization, click Certify organization. You'll notice that the profile now is listed as organization has been certified. Then you'll be returned to the main dashboard. If there are any grants open for applications, they will appear on the left hand side with an apply button available. The next part of our presentation will be covering primary contact changes and address changes. If your organization wishes to update its primary contact, the first step is to make sure the new contact is already registered in the system as an organizational contact. An organizational contact is a contact within the grants management system that can view the content but cannot recertify the organization. They do have the ability to apply for grants, even if they are not the primary contact. To register an organization, to register a new contact in the system, the person must add themselves through the register button in the login page. You'll search for your organization based off of the type of organization that it is. For nonprofits, you'll be able to search for the organization using the IRS database or any other type of organization, including fiscally sponsored organizations, you'll be able to search by the organization name. Once you find the name, you'll click on that and add yourself as a contact. Note that the new contact and the primary contact cannot share the same email address. Email addresses must be unique in the system. The CAC cannot delete old contacts. 
the new contact will receive an email from the system with password instructions within 10 minutes. The password email is time sensitive. If you open the password email and it is expired, the reset link will no longer work. If this happens, return to the grants management system login page, enter the email that you use to register, and then click forgot password. We encourage you to use the forgot password feature that was built instead of emailing staff to reset the password, which will cause you delays. After the new contact has added themselves, the primary contact must log into the grants management system. Then they will click the organizational profile button in the top left corner. Then they will click the orange edit button in the top left corner. And they'll scroll to the change request tab on the far right side of the menu. Here, they will complete all relevant information for the previous and new contact. Note that CAC staff cannot transfer the primary contact role or grant to a new contact until they're in the system as a registered contact. This step is to be completed by the organizational staff before the request. If they do not self-register first, it will cause delays in processing. The change tab or the change request tab is also where you will request an update to a business or mailing address. In general, a business address is where your organization is geographically officially located. Your mailing address is where your organization receives its mail. For most grantees, these two are the same address. Within the change tab, you can request an update to one or both of your addresses. We highly encourage you to set up mail forwarding with your mail car carrier if your address has changed. Please note that addresses take time to process address changes take time to process, so please submit them when there are official, official changes to your organization's address or mailing needs. The change request tab is also where you can request changes to your organization name or organization type. Be sure to include any supporting documentation, and please note that these changes require more staff review and therefore should be initiated as soon as possible. With all types of changes, be clear with the information and your explanation. Missing information will cause delays and the CAC cannot be responsible for the delays caused by unclear information. After you have entered all necessary information, click Submit Change Request at the bottom of the form. A CAC staff member will work on their request in the order they are received. Please do not wait until the grant deadline day to submit a change request or to certify your organization profile. If staff need further information, they will email the change requester. Again, staff cannot make any changes without complete information. One special set of circumstances is if you can no longer access the former primary contacts login credentials and therefore cannot see the change request tab or the ed edit button, you will first still need to add yourself as a contact as noted earlier. Then, after you register yourself, email program staff that you need a primary contact change but do not have access to the primary contact account. Please note, this is a special circumstance and does take longer to process given that the request is initiated outside the grants management system. Only request via email if absolutely necessary. If you have access to the primary contact login credentials, do not email staff the contact request. Please follow the normal change request process. In closing, Thank you for joining us for this training on certifying your organization profile and the various change requests that we offer. If you have any questions, 
On this process, please review our extensive FAQs. If your question is not listed, you can email program staff. Please note, during the open application timeframe, staff answers questions in the order they are received. Staff assistance cannot be guaranteed the week of the application due dates. Thank you and have a great day.